Alright, so I'm I'm irritated and I simply have a question for my family. So every day I receive death threats because my family told you all that I'm a murderer that got away with it. Every day people are harassing me, calling me a murderer. Specifically because my family went on these talk shows and told people that I'm a monster, I'm a murderer, I've always been evil since birth and they never ever trusted me. Never, right? This is from 2011. Remember, the murder of Roberta Laws happened? in February of 2009. In May of 2011, almost two years later, my family was perfectly fine leaving me alone with their children. They came to visit Meemaw. They left the babies alone with somebody who they are now telling you all is a murderer. Now I ask you, if you had a family member who you fully believed got away with murder, would you leave them alone with your children? I mean, you know, the response is probably going to be, well, Sarah was on drugs. And you do a lot of things that you wouldn't normally do when you're on drugs. Okay, so your excuse is essentially that the drugs were more important to you than your children. Or you could tell the truth, which is that nobody was ever afraid of me because I never did anything. Y'all came down and left your innocent little babies with me all the time. None of you were ever trepidatious about leaving them. Were you really on drugs so bad that you were perfectly fine leaving your infant with somebody you believed to be a, a murderer? Or is that something that you made up after I was set to gain an inheritance that nobody wanted me to gain? Because I find it absolutely hilarious how from 2009 to 2015, Nobody in my family treated me like I was a murderer. But suddenly in 2015, after my grandmother passes away, and I'm set to inherit something, suddenly then everybody is saying, well, we, we, we knew she was a bad person. We knew, you know, we knew she's not crazy there's nothing wrong with her she's just a bad person she's a murderer and we never trusted her and we never loved her and we had every excuse to never love her well these children they don't seem in danger to me do they they don't seem scared they don't seem threatened they're alone with a murderer, but they're not covered in bruises. They're not crying. They're not screaming. They're not begging to be released. They're smiling and playing and hugging and laughing and being children with their cousin. Who they know is not a murderer and who their mother knows is not a murderer and who their grandmother knows is not a murderer. So if y'all want to continue telling people that I'm a horrible person who was never trusted and never did anything for anybody in their life, then you're going to have to someday explain why you left your infant children with somebody like that. And if your excuse is just that drugs made you do things you wouldn't normally do, then maybe you shouldn't have children. Because if you're such a drug addict... That you're choosing the drugs over your children's safety. That you're choosing to leave your children with a drug addict. Because, well, there's nobody else and we have to go get the drugs. There's nobody else but Mary. 
The woman we believed has murdered somebody. There's nobody else. The woman that we believe is a drug addict. There's nobody else in the whole world. There's nobody else. So we got to leave the kids with this person and go get our drugs because our drugs are so much more important than our children. This is what makes me mad. You know, I forgot about these pictures, actually. And, you know, maybe you're saying, well, maybe her mother left the babies there and Sarah didn't know. You know, maybe Sarah wasn't around. Oh, look, there she is. Happy that the pictures are there. She doesn't seem upset, does she? She doesn't seem anxious. She's not screaming, How are you alone with my children? I hate you. You're a murdering bitch. Why do you ever think you could be alone with my children? No, she's fine with it. Do you know why she's fine with it? Because she's the one that left them there. She's the one that left them there. Same person that is going on these talk shows and telling you all what a disgusting, despicable, murderous human being I am was perfectly fine leaving her children with me for long periods of time, only two years after the murder I supposedly committed. You don't do that, okay? And it's not that they just figured out that I'm a murderer after Meemaw passed away because that makes no sense. Everybody's opinion changed because of an inheritance that I was set to receive that they all wanted. Nobody's opinion of me was altered any in 2009 or they would not have been taking these pictures in 2011. If I was watching the news and I saw somebody that I knew on the news for murder, I would not be leaving my children with them two years later. I would not be leaving anybody with them. I wouldn't leave a dog with them two years later. Why? Because they're a murderer and you can't trust a murderer. Nobody had any problems trusting me until I was set to receive an inheritance. Nobody. This family has about 36 members and not a single one of them had a problem with me until they wanted to take my inheritance away. You all can keep telling yourselves that my family has just always been scared of me. They've always lived in fear and walked on eggshells trying to not make me mad. So why were they leaving their children with me? Why were they leaving their children with a supposed murderer? Why were they leaving their children with a supposed drug addict? They weren't. They never were. They never did. And the only reason people think they would now is because they lied. And they lied because they don't want anybody to actually look further into that inheritance and find out what happened. They don't want anybody to believe that they would leave their family member destitute, abandoned to the streets, rather than release an inheritance to them. And you'll say, well, you could have had that inheritance. All you had to do was do this and this and this and this that nobody told you about. They came to me. First off, when my grandmother passed away, my aunt told me by waking me up and saying, your grandmother is dead and I think you should know that there is no will. Those were her exact words. There was a will. I didn't have the money to force them to read it. So they didn't read it and they just took whatever they wanted from that apartment. And then they waited. The property was in a trust. They told me I could have that property. I asked them for the deed. They said, figure it out. What my friend figured out was that that deed was in a trust. I asked them to release the trust so I could sell the property and they told me no because the trust is worthless. I needed to figure something else out. The trust was not worthless. It had the property deed in it. But I can go through my Facebook and show y'all where my aunt is telling people that that trust is worthless and I'm just making things up. It had the deed to the property in it. So because they wouldn't release it 
and I could not pay the taxes because I had nothing, they knew that I was going to lose that property to the government because they were not going to release it to allow me to sell it. And now people laugh and say, well, you were going to sell it for $50,000. Yeah, I was. $50,000 in cash. And then the people were also going to pay the back taxes. They were going to pay all the lawyer's fees for having to get the deed out of the trust because it was not easy to do. Actually, it wasn't possible to do. We had a lawyer. The lawyer contacted my aunt, who was in control of the trust. My aunt did not respond. For years, she did not respond. And then, when I turned 20, when I mean, sorry, when I turned 35, when I turned 35 in 2020, the trust was automatically unlocked because my grandfather had it set up where it would stay locked until I was 35. When the trust was unlocked, the family went to court to take everything out of it, claiming that I didn't do anything with it, that I didn't want it. That was not true. I had lawyers that could not get that property released. My aunt was telling everybody that the trust was worthless when she knew that the property was in that trust and now saying that they didn't release it because I wasn't going to sell it for enough is also bullshit because if it belonged to me, if it belonged to me, I would have been allowed to sell it for whatever I wanted because it belonged to me. If I want to sell a $200,000 property for $5 to a friend, that's my choice. It was mine to make, not my family's. If my family wanted to decide on the price of the pro selling that property, then they never should have told me it was mine to do what I wanted with. They have lied. From day one, they have been lying. These children don't look endangered. These children don't look scared. These children don't look like they've been kidnapped. These children were left with their cousin by their drug-addicted mother who did not care if she was leaving her children with a murderer. That's the kind of person y'all are dealing with. The kind of drug addicts that will leave their children with people they don't trust. And I know that because my family did it. My parents left us with criminals. My parents would abandon us to Fred, who would play sexual games with his five-year-old wards. They would leave us alone with the drug addicts. They would leave us alone with the criminals. My dad would put me in charge of keeping his drugs safe from the babysitter. Because it was way more important to go get loaded than it was to protect their children. And if the only people that they associated with were drug addicts and criminals, well, that's who's going to watch their children, ain't it? See, I can't have kids. If I could have kids, I would never... Abandon them to go and get drugs. I would never leave them with somebody I didn't trust for any reason. That's a fucking shitty human being that will choose drugs over their children's safety. And she's going to say, well, I was on drugs, but I'm better now. We don't have proof of that. How do we know that you're not still leaving your children with drug addicts? How do we know that you're still, you're not still leaving your children with people that you believe to be a murderer? We don't know anything except what you tell us. And I know you better I know you better than they do. I know what's a lie. Because I'm your family. I've been through so much with this fucking family. This is just one of the lies that I'm able to actually expose and show off. The lie that my family was so afraid of me. The lie that my family believed me to be this horrid, drug-addicted monster. The lie that they believed I was a murderer from the beginning. 
If they did, why did they leave me with their children? Is it because you didn't love your children? Or is it because you didn't believe what you're saying now at that time? And then nothing has changed to change that belief aside from an inheritance. 